in honor of quality services and loyalty to the university, Eastern Visayas State University bestowed loyalty and service awards to non-teaching and teaching staff and retirees of the university during the EFSU Parangal 2023 at the Miguel Rimualdez Memorial Auditorium, Thursday, February 16. The said event is one of the highlights of the university's 116th founding anniversary with the theme, One EFSU, leveraging work, passion, and dedication. Eastern Visayas State University awarded a total of 43 loyalty service awards to 10 non-teaching and 33 teaching staff for serving the university for a certain period. Awards from non-teaching include 4 bronze, 2 silver, and 4 gold, while awards from the teaching staff include 18 bronze and 15 silver. The bronze award is equivalent to 10, 15, and 20 years of service. Silver is 25 and 30 years and gold is 35 and 40 years. Mrs. Marlene Yu Lim, a Gold Loyalty Service Awardee with 40 years of service in the university, gave reminders to her co-workers on how to make the best out of their work. As dedicated employees, we can inspire others to strive for success, creating a more productive work environment. We can be role models and good examples to others. So, love your work as much as you love your family. Be a team player. Be proactive and innovative. Be an asset and not a liability to the organization. Be humble of your achievements. And above all, trust in the Lord. Pray for His guidance and mercy as everything we have belongs to Him, and without Him, we are nothing. Meanwhile, 19 retirees received their Loyalty Service Award for their service and commitment for the university. Dr. Hilaria L. Bustamante, former Dean of the College of Technology, emphasized that standards should be kept as faculty of the university for it to improve. That's why I remember when I was interviewed in the professor level, and I said, I would profess truthfulness because that is the only way that you will succeed in life, that the university will improve, will enhance, and go forward. Why dedication? Because you as a faculty, you as an employee of this university, you must work according to the expectation from the administration. Because without that, things could not be done according to the standards. Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Ligia M. Morantes, stressed the essence of the EFSU Parangal Night to recognize the hard work of the administration and staff of the university in her welcome remarks. Today's ceremony is our way of giving recognition to the loyalty, dedication, and commitment of our faculty and employees to the service of our beloved university. So this is more of a congratulatory message to all of you in achieving uh, the significant milestone in your career. It is indeed a special occasion because we don't often get the opportunity to publicly thank our human resources for the many years of service they have devoted to this institution. It's only once a year that we try to recognize our human resources, no? our faculty and our non-teaching personnel. So Moreover, Vice President for Internationalization and Extension Affairs, Dr. Danilo Pulma, highlighted the role of the administration and staff in molding the university for the future. Today, we gather to recognize and honor your loyalty, passion, and dedication to our beloved Eastern Visayas University during its 116th founding anniversary. Your sincere commitment to our university has played an integral role in making us what we are today. You have been the driving force behind our success and have been instrumental in shaping our future. 
your years of service and dedication to our beloved Eastern Visayas State University have not done unnoticed. We are truly grateful for your unwavering commitment to our institution. Further, University President Dr. Dennis C. Pass encouraged everyone to put a premium on the very core that has guided the EFSO community in achieving its goals for the university. Let us put premium on the very core values that have guided us. These are excellence in the performance of our work and duties, promoting and standing by our pressure values, characterizing service of ourselves Furthermore, Chief Administrative Officer for Administration Dr. Doris Ann Espina stressed how the awardees and retirees demonstrated the meaning of loving their work in her closing remarks. Our loyalty awardees and retirees demonstrated the true meaning of loving work, of being steadfast despite the challenges and exhibiting loyal and commitment to this institution. Thus, it is but fitting to have this day specially dedicated for all of them to express our gratitude for what they have done to the university. So as a way of saying thank you, let us give them a round of applause. To our service awardees and retirees, thank you so much for dedicating most of your lives to EVSU and serving as good examples to the new and young ones in the organization. On Friday, February 17, the university's founding anniversary celebration will come to an end with the Fellowship Night, honoring the administrators, faculty, staff, and the community for their contribution to the university's success. Like and follow our social media pages link in the description below. This has been Erwin Alicott Jr. reporting for the Industrial Wheel.